The other day I was browsing through Tableau stuff and I came across a bunch of extensions that can be used not only on Tableau server and Tableau cloud, but also on Tableau public. So I thought, let's try them out. I quickly realized that the only one that's available on Tableau public is the Sankey chart built by Tableau themselves. And I found this amazing visualization that shows how Italy won the European football cup. I really wanted to reproduce this, so the first thing I did was let me download and see if I can get an insight on how the data was organized to get this Sankey chart going. Um, <laughs> when I opened it, I was a little terrified because I realized this was way before the extension and that this person had done everything manually with X's and Y's. And if you ever tried to do this, it's awesome, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, that's not what I was looking for, but I still wanted to reproduce this. So I went in for some data prep. Now, the data data set I chose didn't exist really so I had to make it myself and it was the Volleyball Nations League for Women's Volleyball for this year. So I went on the Volleyball Nations League website like quick and dirty just copied the data and pasted it into an Excel spreadsheet. So the data I was copying was all the participants so I then decided to have a column for the group stage, a column for quarter semi-finals finals and one for the champions so I wanted to kind of reproduce the same style of visualization and show the winner <laughs> coincidence but it's again Italy um, all the way to the final so I wanted them to be alone at the end after the final then I decided to add this column I was left with a bunch of empty spaces so I filled them in with uh, eliminated the teams that didn't make it would flow from their own name, their own country name to eliminate it. The next step was simply to download the file. So from Excel, I downloaded it on my machine, on my own computer. Then I opened my Tableau Public website and now we have this little button, create a viz. I clicked on it. In order to connect to the data, I just selected the file I had just downloaded. This is very quick and very easy. Now the next step, if you want to use an extension, is to go to Marks and choose Add Extension. And the Sankey one is really the first one that pops up. So you will see it's completely free. You can just click on open and you'll get it downloaded. It's very fast. I'm really, I'm really impressed with this process. Now what we want to do here is to drag the basically the columns that we want to see in our Sankey chart one by one onto level. And I'm going to drag them in order. So I'm going from group stage to quarterfinal to semifinal, final and then champion. Now, as you can see on my screen, this process is so smooth and so fast. It's really impressive, like, if you really think of what we needed to do back in the day. And I was really excited about this. And I stayed excited for a while as I tried to turn this into what I really wanted. I wanted at least the same colors for each country. I wanted maybe, maybe to be able to sort the countries. Ideally, would have wanted the winner, Italy, to be at the top instead of at the bottom. I looked, I turned, I tried a bunch of things. Now, the problem with all this is that this is just not possible. It's possible to change the colors and it's not possible to sort anything. It will look like you can sort. So the options are there just like they're there for other graphs. You can click on sort, you can select alphabetic order. Um, but, it, but nothing changes, really. What is cool, though, is that I was able to make my graph look something like this. And I think that's pretty similar to what uh, the original visualization that I'd seen from Zena looked like. And the reason why I was able to do this is because of some of the built-in features, actually, from this extension. So if we go to Format Extension, as I said, you cannot... Like, my idea was, I... Yeah, fine. Give me the same palette for all stages but i want brazil to always be blue you know that would be really easy for the eye to follow that's not possible but you can choose a really cool color palette which i really love this one and then what you can do is play around with the width so for instance i really wanted to make a republic to be all visible so i made the basically the columns larger it was 100 and i put it to 130 so that was really easy and then the other thing i did which I think uh, had the biggest improvement uh, was to in increase the level padding. So if we try, let's put it to 70, the very extreme, uh, the padding between basically the values, it will increase, but it will also push up all of these values. So that makes it easier to see which uh, teams remain. So I think I had landed on a 20 
and I'm pretty happy with this and let's try zero they're really cramped together so this gives it a very nice look in my opinion and of course you know choosing a back a black background with really popping colors is pretty nice and what I'm happy with is that indeed you can see quite easily that Italy is the last one remaining compared to the version where it's completely full and also another thing that you can do easily is follow the paths like this is also a built-in feature. If I click on China, it will show me all the way China went through. Really annoying is that there's no way of individually changing the tooltips. So I completely turned them off because, well, I didn't want them to repeat group stage, quarterfinals, semifinals, because it would say, for instance, Bulgaria and then eliminated, eliminated. It's just not adding any information. I could write something else, um, but I decided to just switch them off not to confuse the user here was my attempt at a sunkey chart with a tableau extension have you guys used it already how did you find it did you find a solution to any other problems i ran into let me know in the comment thank you for watching and see you next time